give them uh, not too much. I'm going to say three and a half out of a ten because I still believe they have the better team, but they're playing with fire. Skip, you know when you get a team and you get an opportunity to kick them out the house, you better put them out now because they get comfortable. They ain't going to want to leave. Now you're going back to Toronto. Toronto's like, hold on. Man, James Harden hadn't been James Harden this I'd whole series. Say. Been, uh, and, and Joel Embiid nursing with that thumb. Mm -hmm. Hmm. And Tobias Harris hadn't been hadn't been. He was supposed to be a part of a big three with Jimmy Butler and all these guys. That, and he ain't he ain't been hitting on much mm. lately either. Mm. Hey guys, we got a chance. Mm. We I think I, hey Maxi been lighting it up lately. Nah. Yeah. Hey Skip, I think we can get this thing back. I think we can get uh -huh. back. I think we can go back to uh, uh, Philly yeah. for Game Seven. Okay. And we know what happened in Game Seven in Philly. Atlanta went in there and did something to them. The fans will turn on them quick if we can get them down. You're playing with fire. You go ahead and end it. Skip, theoretically, you know it should be 3-1. Joel and B doesn't hit that shot, that shot, that shot of shots. He hit a shot. <laughs> you talk about 3-1. Mm -hmm. I still believe that the Sixers are the better team. Joel Embiid, but Skip, 20 and 11 is not good enough for Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid should be 30 and 15. Yep. 32 and 17. Skip, he that big. He the best, he's the best player on the court. Those, those are pedestrian numbers. Skip, I can't do anything. Skip, I can't do anything with 20 and 11 from Joel Embiid. And he says, well, I need James Harden to be more aggressive. Huh? You want him to jack up more bad shots? He was 4 of 11. If James Harden is like 2 or 6 from the three-point line, Skip, if he ain't getting to the foul line, it's hard. James, something wrong with James Harden. Skip, either that man got a hip problem, a hamstring. Ain't no way James Harden got that bad just that quick, Skip. Ain't no way. Come on now. This man aging right before I... He, he, this man pulling the Benjamin Buttons on us. Yep. He getting old. I mean... No, he's going the other way. Yes. Yeah. He aging in dog... Skip, he aging in dog years. Yeah. You know, they said dog is seven years to a human. Yep. James Harden, he's got 14 years older Agreed. in the months he's been in Philly. I'm like, Damn. Okay, so I'm going to start with James Harden. What is his track record? What do I know? What can I trust <laughs> about James Harden that you playoff? can't trust him? You, yeah, I trust exactly. you can't trust him when, when the moment is upon you, yeah. right? Yep. And the moment is now upon the Sixers. So what did I see last night? I, I saw next to nothing. I saw a pedestrian from James Harden. I saw ordinary from James Harden. Very ordinary. Ordinary. He looks like just another player, and he would not assert himself because I don't know that he has anything left to assert with. Right. And he just wants to go along for a nice, quiet ride with Embiid as the superstar, and all of a sudden the superstar tore a ligament in his shooting thumb yes. that, according to Doc, won't get any worse, but it's not going to get any better. Yeah. Like, he, you can play through it just fine, but you, you need to have it surgically repaired. Correct. So it's going to, it's just going to irritate and bother you. Yes. And and Doc said after the game there was one loose ball that Joel could have just dived for, but he he won't risk no. diving with that thumb. Oh, the body goes self-preserve okay. itself. All right. <laughs> so, so he said, I, I give it up. I, I can't do that. Okay, so now your two superstars, and I put quotes around one of those guys being a superstar, <laughs> are not to be trusted anymore. And here comes a tough, defensive-minded Toronto team that did not have Van Vliet last night, and I don't know if he's going to I be able to come back. Again. Nope. Well, he's got a hip flexor injury, and I don't know the extent of it. But let me tell you, if he comes back for either the next couple of games, you are in even bigger, bigger trouble than you are right now because I think you're in huge trouble. Okay, Shannon Sharp, what yeah. do we know about Doc Rivers? I, I know, first of all, I love the man. He's blown the most. Okay, well, he, he's blown three three-to-one leads in his coaching career in the NBA. Three three-to-one leads, and he has blown the most ever closeout wins, you know, closeout games, yeah. I should say, that, that he's lost. Right. He, he has the most number of closeout losses of any coach ever. So he's been here and done this before, right. and – I was starting to hear faint echoes of the nightmare that was the Clippers in the bubble blowing the 3-1 lead, mm -hmm. coached by Doc, obviously, right. to Denver. Right. And it was Doc right after the game. He was just very forthcoming, straightforward. He said, they, meaning Toronto, they got everything they wanted. And not only did they get it, they, they used 23 seconds, dang near every position, possession that they used the whole shot clock. Right. And what can you do, Doc? He says, we're, we're going to have to do something better to help our guys defend better. Huh? Okay. Hold so, on, Skip. <clears throat> Tobias Harris, 
It's supposed to be known as the defenders. Yep. You got uh, Thibel. Okay, who, remember what Thibel did he well, did Well, he not. can't play in Toronto. He can't play in Toronto because he didn't get vaccinated right. either. So now when you go for game six, you got a problem because your quote-unquote best defender is not Danny going to Green is you. known as a defensive he guy. He is. Yep. But Skip, I believe you... Oh, uh, uh, Harris was 6-16. Six Joel Embiid was 7-15. Uh, Max was 5-14. 4-11. Uh, uh, Bo was 1-6. Who you beating? Shooting 38% from the floor, 27% from the three. Yep. And you got, Skip, you got not rebounded by Toronto. And you got Joel Embiid. Huh. Okay. Shannon... They're, they're in big trouble. They're in big trouble? Because they're in danger of blowing a 3-0 to zero lead. They better, Skip, they better close it out in Toronto. <sighs> don't you come, hey, Skip, don't you come, hey. Do not pack with the intentions of having to play a game seven in your building. Skip, this is a, if there's, <laughs> look, I understand that the worst thing that can happen, we lose and there's a game seven. But you got to look at this and Skip, this is do or die. This is an elimination game right here. I agree. Because if yeah. you cut. Well, what happens on Philadelphia's home court? They get booed off the court. Yes. About, at halftime last night, as they went to the locker room, they got booed off the floor. Yes. So your your crowd, it's extremely passionate and it can be extremely But supportive. they're going to turn on you quick. They will turn quick. And when they turn, <laughs> it becomes home court disadvantage. Correct. And if you blow game six or if you just flat out get beaten in game six and you come home, and you play a shaky first half, you're going to get booed off the floor yes. at halftime, and all of a sudden it's going to start feeling like a Toronto home game in the second half because it's going to get real quiet in there. It, it's going to get problem. really, really, really quiet. Skip, this is a must-have. But, Joe, Skip, Joe, I mean, you look at games two and three, he was 31 and 11, he was 33 and 13, and he gave you 20 and 11 last, last night. Yep. That's not good enough. He, he needs to end skip. The playoffs, you got to at least give me your average. Yep. He averaged 30. He averaged 12 rebounds. You got to give me at least that. Anything less than that, you're underperforming. That's what the really great play. Look at Kevin Durant's scoring average in the regular season and look at it in the playoffs. Look at LeBron. Look at Jordan. Look at the greats. Mm -hmm. That's how they become great. Skip, you, don't, you can't underperform come playoff time and say, yeah, well, I want to be a great. Mm. Those numbers got to increase. I agree. So James Harden asked after the game, what was Toronto doing to defend you? And his answer was, I took 11 shots. So he's saying, I just didn't shoot very much because I couldn't because I was trying to feed everybody else. But I, I don't want to hear that because I think he's hiding from shot taking. Skip. I don't think he wants to take more than 11 shots. You're right, Skip, because here's the thing. If James Harden, he only had seven assists. Now, if he'd had 17 assists with those 11 shots, I I'll think you're that. right. You know what, bro? You're getting everybody else involved. Yep. Maybe you might need to cut down a few of those assists mm -hmm. and bump that total bump that uh, shot uh, uh, to, uh, total up. Bro, you took 11 shots, but you only made four of them. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like you were nine of 11. Mm -mm. You was four of 11. And you only had seven assists. Who are you playmaking for? So what did he wind up with, 15 and... Seven? Yes. Fifteen and seven. Well, so, what, so what am I supposed to do with that? Your superstar, your your co-star is hurt. So he's not gonna be able to give you forty-five and twenty. And that and that skip. That's why you got James Harden. Yeah. Because now we that got we got another guy that can go give us thirty. James Harden used to be able to give you thirty and fifteen. He did. Now he's giving you fifteen and seven and somebody, well, you know, I got everybody else involved. I need you to get you involved and get everybody else involved. Bro, you about to sign a, a contract for five for 246. Yep. No, I don't want to hear no excuses. Yep. I don't about I just shot 11 times. Mm hmm. Yeah, Joel is living in the past because he says, I've been saying all season since uh, James got here, he needs to be more aggressive. Uh, yeah, but A, he can't be more aggressive because he's not that good anymore. Right. And B, he doesn't want to be aggressive because he just wants to play in your shadow right. and collect his check. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's, it's Skip. And he had the ideal situation because it was perfect. He had Kevin Durant he and did. he had Kyrie. So, really, I, you know, I get my little 20. I yeah. get you 22, 23, mm -hmm. get you 13, 14 assists. I'm sitting pretty. Now, all of a sudden, Kyrie's out, Skip. Yep. Now, it's on KD and me. Now, my first step ain't what it used to be, Skip. I can't just easily get past mm -hmm. people yep. and lay the ball up and they're not giving me all those foul calls that they gave me in Houston. Like, damn. Do I, I need, man, I might need to go somewhere else. Somebody else takes up that pressure, too. Mm -hmm. Hey, let me get up out of here. So then he quit on them. Yep. They had to get him up out of Brooklyn. And now, at some point in time, Skip, you're going to get tired of running.
Yeah. And you're going to have to face mm -hmm. everything that you've run for. That what you ran from in Houston, I what agree. you ran from in Brooklyn. That's a you, fact. Guess what? Now you're in Philly. Ain't nowhere else to run. It caught you in Philly. Mm -hmm. So Joel's injury plus James' decline equals recipe for disaster. A recipe for yeah. blown 3 1. It does. <laughs> It, it were blown 3-0. This would oh, be blown 3-0. Oh, yeah, yeah, blown 3-0. Right? Forget 3-1. You're right. Woo. Yeah, Skip, I don't know if Doc be able to overcome this one <sighs> because he just blew 3-1 last year. So I'm saying Atlanta was 3-1. Clippers are 3-1. There was one in Boston that was 3-1. Three times, okay? And this would be 3-0. to zero. Yeah, that'd be, ooh, Doc. Doc I, I don't like their chances. I, I think Toronto's going to win game six, and then it's going to be edge of seat in game seven. They better win game six. Mm. They better not be a game seven. I got Toronto. <laughs> Second quarter killed him last night, guys. 14 to 25, and they were just never able to dig out of that hole. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show, and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed, or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.